Hey guys, welcome to Beer 30. What did I do here? Hey Greg. Yep. Hold on. It's coming. There we go. Sorry I messed up the camera. Welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. That's Josh and that's Josh. How you doing? Doing good, Greg. Hey, uh, today, so uh, Schlafly's been doing this series for a while called the Ibex series. And um, it comes off, um, the Ibex is this, like, goat-looking thing, I guess. It's, it's a bird, I thought, isn't it? I thought it's a, well, look at that. Because I thought it was in their oh, original yeah. logo. So they started using that. Is there a mythical hmm. creature? That's what I was thinking. Well, maybe you can look what that up. What is an Ibex? So, this is the latest one from... Nope, it's a real thing. It is... Let's see here. It is the local oak aged in Missouri white oak. I can't read it. Tanks. <laughs> Tanks. Jeez, I oh, can't even read glasses, it. Grandpa. Yeah, I know. So, um, let's see what this is. Um, so an ibex is a wild goat with long, thick, rigid horns and a beard found in the mountains of the Alps, Pyrenees, Central Asia, and Ethiopia. Did you hear about the drama with uh, Schlafly and Forehands? Uh, I did hear about that. It was... Um, they ended up firing a senior VP or something, didn't they? Yeah. Um, it's fizzy. It is fizzy. Uh, he's... Uh, what did he say? He was spreading rumors about Forehands. Oh, like Forehands... Okay, if you, if you read the Urban Dictionary version of Forehands, it means something else. It's like a massage or something like that. But what it really means is like his family, four hands, okay. their family getting together to make yeah that for that for yeah. It's really not a uh, no. But the the article I read said that this guy was spreading like unethical. I thought that was practice stories. And, I thought that's what he said to him about it. Oh, I don't know. So let me describe this. It's inspired by famous sour ales of Belgium. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that to begin with? <laughs> this beer starts out as a saison and undergoes several transformations for men. Damn it! With the additions <laughs> of lactobacillus, bretum, bretomyces, and two saison yeast strains. Don't drink it. I did already. The mixed fermentation process creates an all personality you would expect from a beer like this with tart and fruity traits tart. introduced from the lacto and bread with a light malt character. Thanks for the warning, asshole. Aged, <laughs> aged gracefully in the elegant Foder's Hen from hmm. locally grown Ozark Timber. This is where the beer develops a lot of its character. Reminds me of a real tangy apple cider. Yeah, I agree like, with that. Like like going bad apple cider oh you can taste the that, wood though that oak is like say that, super what? strong say that again <laughs> you can taste the oak it, what, no, that's not what you said what like you the say? wood is in your mouth yeah like it's, it, <clears throat> man it is I like it yeah. I would have liked it better knowing going into it it was a sour it's I only 4.5% it so this is yeah, high, very low it isn't a very high volume or uh, ABV uh, IBU, what do you think? Or did you already yeah, see I that? I wonder that. Uh, I don't know. I'm thrown off. I'm not going to be. Uh, it's low, twenty something. I get a. I don't know. I say. I say forty something. Five. What? Five. I, I, my taste buds do not. My tongue does not register IBU. I so guess. there's no bitterness. But it, there's Greg's really no bitterness. bitterness. Greg's oh, tongue tastes wood though. Yeah. So. Hmm. I don't think this is bad. I think it's it's growing on me, but that first yeah. drink of it. Well, you knew it wasn't a stout. I mean, <laughs> look at the color. But when it, I saw barrel aged, I was thinking a little bit mellow, you know, nice and mellow. No, it's going to give you a punch in the teeth. Normally, Dude, whenever light. we have anything barrel aged, it is a darker beer. Right. Yeah. So I was surprised that it was so, and it was so fizzy initially. Now you normally like, taste dark wood in your mouth like that. <laughs> so, this is. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was done in actual barrel. This is local oak, so I don't know if they just put, like, staves a instead of tree. a barrel. Well, I doubt they cut down a tree. <laughs> just put in, yeah. But um, I I got to say, I, I, think no, it's, no. I think it's pretty good. I, I enjoy it. It's okay. 
It's it's not a side project sour, but it's no, and it's more tart sour. than sour. Yeah, or tart. Yeah, it's it's I'm pretty tasting, strong. I'm tasting some oak, Wood. the the woody flavor, <laughs> woody, Carlson, and um, like a like you said, apple or pineapple maybe. Lemon. It tastes like that pineapple beer that we made that got infected. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't do too well with that. <laughs> I would have not guessed that this was a Saison start, though. I don't get that Saison flavor. No, too. it doesn't have that. Because that usually, to me, it tastes has like this. feet. Yeah, and it has that uh, weird tongue tickling. <laughs> <laughs> the dark wood does. <laughs> That's the way I think it is. I think big old man will start calling you that the tongue tickler. So, is there is there other ibex beers because this is from the ibex cellar? I'm yes, yes. That. About every few months or so. Oh, so um, I've never heard of this before. But they all tickle your tongue. <laughs> they, yeah, the, this is the first. This is the lightest one they've had so oh. far. But uh, I was gonna say I thought I remember a couple of them being. They had a barrel aged imperial, an imperial coffee about. stout, a uh, sour blonde, a barrel aged saison, and a barrel aged barley wine. Those are all they've had so far, and I think they just started this late last year, so it's fairly new uh, <laughs> releases. What what would you grade this? B minus. Yeah. Say the same. I'm gonna give it an A. I like it. Really? I like it a lot. So sours are growing on you, huh? Yeah, I, I think mean, so. Yeah, a couple years ago, you would have been like, <laughs> it's his old age. And yeah. this, the taste buds start to. Grow. I would not say this is a tear your tongue off sour. No, this is I agree. A very mild lemonade type sour. It's not. I don't you know, call that a little lemonade. stronger than that. Yeah, a little stronger than that, but it's it's around that. But anyway, um, lemonade without sugar, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> lemonade without sugar. Well, it's called lemon juice. Yeah, sure. lemon juice. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of like that. Kind of. You ever squirt one of those in your mouth? No, I no. Or the lime I don't juice? Squirt anything in my mouth? Well, check out our other videos. Go to YouTube. Uh, uh, check out Beer Thirty TV or our website Beer Thirty TV. We'll see you next time. See ya.